Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is our lecture number 23 of our free course Electrical tab. In this lecture, we will see relay coordination and analysis. Actually, it is production and relay coordination analysis. This is the in this lecture we will discuss the basic things about the relay coordination and is what is the relay, how it works, what does the coordination mean, what are the references, what are the different uh, standard and scores for the different relays. What is a relay? First of all, we should know what is a relay. Relay is a sensing device, safe guard, electrical power system or equipment. Think of it as like a security guard for uh, electricity. Like everyone has a security guard for a house or home, this is like a security guard for electricity. When there is a problem, like a short circuit or overload in the electrical network, relay quickly detects it and sends a signal to the circuit breaker to turn off the affected part of the system. This prevents us from the damage and ensures the set. This is a simple diagram and it will explain you here the working of the relay. See, this is a relay, this is a system, and the current is going like this. Here this is a CT, that is the current transfer. It is sensing the current. This current in the secondary will be normal. And with the normal, this relay coil does not pull this down. It will remain open, and this uh, tripping coil does not get energized. That means this circuit breaker remains closed and the operation will be null. Suppose when there is a fault here, like this, there is a fault here, the current through this will be very high. With this very high current, the secondary current will be uh, of the CTV is very, very high, greater than normal. And with this, this, it will pull down this plug. Delay coil will pull down this thing and it will close the circuit here. When the closed circuit is closed, the current will flow because there is a battery in this here and the current will be going flowing and the trip coil gets energized. When the trip coil gets energized, it will pull down this, it will take this connection away from the uh, conductors. That means it will uh, open the circuit breaker. When the circuit breaker is open and this part of the system will be get is isolated from the system, from the supply. This is the simple working of a relay. Now, what are the different types of relays? We will see relays based on the various uh, functions and based on the manufacture. What are the different types of relays based on function and manufacture? I am here not to explain the relays. What the relays function? What is the function of the relay? That relay? Because it will get the very lengthy lecture. For that you can search on Google what is the function of that release. You have also studied in VTEC chorus or AMT chorus. The various types of release based on manufacture, based on fraction or work current relay, distance relay, differential relay, earth fault relay, and the reverse power relay, under voltage or over voltage relays. Now, what are the function based? Uh, what are the types of relays based on manufacture? Electromagnetic relay, solid state relay, read relay, hybrid relay. Now, what is the coordination or a relay coordination be? Coordination is about making sure these relays work together smoothly. In an electrical network, different parts may have their own relays. And it is important that the right relay responds to a problem first. This prevents unnecessary shutdowns of healthy parts of the system. This is a simple grid. Here, this is the grid, and these are the distribution transformers connected to the grid. Each this branch has its own circuit breaker, and this is controlled by this relay. And similarly, this distribution first has its own circuit breaker and relay. Similarly, for distribution second and distribution third. Suppose here is the fault. Here in this line, the fault comes, or in this distribution, the fault has been occurred. What should be happen? First of all, this relay will sense this fault and 
send a signal to the circuit this circuit breaker and this part should be isolated suppose if there is this is called the coordination if there is no coordination what will happen it is suppose there is no coordination this relation is the fault and disconnect the, this system this circuit as well as this signal to this circuit breaker and it will disconnect the opponent what will happen fault is here these two others are also affected with this fault with the relay link coordination what will happen only this circuit uh, distribution problem get isolated from the system and the two remaining transformers distribution first and distribution second will not get affected that is the relay coordination now what are the various references used in the relay coordination and analysis first one is IEEE 242 2001 that is that is called the buff book or it is practice for protection and coordination of industrial and commercial power systems second is IEEE 141 1993 uh, recommending practice for electrical power distribution for industrial products this is called the red book IEEE 399 IEEE recommended practice for industrial and commercial power systems and this is this called the brown book Relay ANS device numbers. Each relay has given a standard number so that we can identify with this number what is the relay or is it just function. These numbers are called ANS OI numbers. ANS OI device numbers are standardized codes used to identify different types of protection relays and control devices in electrical power system. These device numbers defined by the American National Standard Institute represent the function of the device in the electrical protection scheme. Now what are the various INS numbers for different numbers? For distance related INSI 21, ANSI 27, ANSI 32 for diffraction power, thermal overload for 49 for thermal overload and 50 for instantaneous overload. These are different INSI numbers. Thank you.